Mystic Market is a trading game in the same vein of a stock exchange in which the commodities traded are dragon scales, phoenix feathers, orc teeth, pixie powder, and mermaid tears. The value of these chips are constantly shifting in the game, so players learn how to manage their portfolio and develop some shrewd investing skills to win this game. I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn through play. If that's you, make sure to subscribe. Let's set this up for a two-player game. Let's look at the setup while we unbox what's inside. There are 66 ingredient cards, five of which will be laid out to form the ingredient market. 20 potion cards of which we lay out five to form the potion market. Here is a value tracker. These dots tell you how much it costs to buy a single ingredient card from the market. These numbers tell you the value you receive if you sold a complete set of ingredient cards. The cards also tell you how many are required to complete a set. We will be managing dragon scales, kraken tentacles, phoenix feathers, orc teeth, pixie powder, and mermaid tears. There are also six supply shift cards and a bunch of coins in one, five, and 10 denominations. The objective of the game is to be the wealthiest player from trading ingredients and crafting potions. Each player starts with four ingredient cards and five one value coins. Then we'll randomly pick three supply shift cards to shuffle into the ingredient deck. During a turn, a player may do one of the following. To buy a card, players pay the amount shown on the tracker to buy a specific ingredient on the market or pay two coins to buy one sight unseen from the ingredient deck. To swap, they exchange a card from their hand for one in the ingredient market. If they choose to sell, they exchange one complete set for the value shown on the tracker. Then they shift its value up on the tracker. So now there is more supply. Demand decreases and so would prices. This value tracker is such a genius idea to make it obvious the concept of how prices fluctuate depending on supply and demand. Alternatively, you can sell a single ingredient card for no coins and receive no profit, but the ingredient vial for that item being sold into the market moves from its current position on the track to the top of the track. If we get a supply shift card, all the vials below that commodity are shifted to the top of the tracker one at a time. In this case, since mermaid tears were in low supply, they are now the most expensive to buy and will bring in the most returns when sold. The other action a player may take is to trade in combinations of ingredient cards that will bring them special abilities as well as profit. Here, a vial of dragon scale and orc teeth can be exchanged for an elixir of luck. This can be counted for four profit at the end of the game, or it can be used in place of another ingredient card when you need it. Now the potions functioning as sort of a mishmash of a hedge fund, a bond, you know, something where you group a number of stocks together and you peg it to a price so it doesn't fluctuate as much as the market. When the last card from the ingredient deck is drawn, it is the close of day at the stock exchange. The player with the most profit at the end of the day is the winner. Real quick, Miss Game School updates that I wanted to share with everyone. I want to let you guys know about some free resources that we have made available on our website. You can download a list of all the gateway games that we have used in our game school for language arts, arithmetic, and thinking skills. 
there are more game lists covering different topics that will continually be added. So if you would love to get one of those lists, head to our resource page on www.missgameschool.com, enter your email and it will get sent to your inbox. Now let's get back to the video. Mystic Market is a good starting point for children to learn how to manage their money beyond just saving. As a game, it is a very low anxiety arena since no one is actually losing any money on the stock exchange and it's a safe space for children to experiment with different ways to approach generating wealth. What's particularly outstanding to me is the immediate feedback that children receive when they are experimenting. In a table game of 30 minutes, the gains and losses that they make are immediately tangible in their hands, which makes this game a great starter game to introduce financial literacy at a young age. If you are playing with really young players, I would keep it simply as a set collection game, selling to the market, and do without the supply shift and the potion cards. The main mechanics of the game is the stock market after all. Once kids are used to the shock factor of seeing a stock they had planned to sell suddenly drop in price when an opponent shifts the market, then I would add in the supply shift cards next. The last add would be the potion cards. And then I would explain how I would use it to hedge against the market. I would recommend Mystic Market to every child old enough to play it. It is a very important game in my game schooling library to introduce kids to financial literacy and management. You can check it out in the links below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get to try Mystic Market real soon and I will see you in the next video. Next.